Hey everyone, hello. Welcome to Magnolias in downtown Norfolk, Nebraska. I'm Amy. I'm going to hang out with you for the next hour and do some fun designs that include tray designing, vase drop-ins, some Valentine's Day, and uh, all kinds of fun things. So jump on, say hello. It's a beautiful snowy day here. If you wanted Christmas snow, today's your day. I have worn the wrong shirt for a microphone. I can tell this isn't going to be easy. Let me try moving it here. So there we go. So this is going to be uh, me filling you in on new different florals, spines, succulents, and putting them on trays, putting them in vases, and creating some fun looks today while I drink my coffee. How do you feel about that, guys? Is that good with everybody? Thanks for jumping on, Patty. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Pat. Hello, Barbara. Uh, Kate just went and took a phone call as we needed to start. Since uh, now I'm on my, my own, she'll be right back. And it's a good coffee day. It's probably a multi coffee day, I would guess. I am supposed to uh, get a ride home with my husband tonight because it is that bad out. Um, we probably will not be open tomorrow. FYI, if you call the store, I am 90% sure we won't be getting into work tomorrow. So that's just a heads up for all of you. And uh, if you're watching this video late, disregard that information if you're watching it in playback. So we're on Tuesday the 8th today, or Monday the 8th today. And on Tuesday the 9th, we may be opening late, is my guess. Probably not first thing in the morning. We'll see what's happening. So, hey everyone, thanks for jumping on today. There is Carol, there is Deb, hello. Uh, Marga, hello. I can see pretty good on the camera today. I can see your names popping up. Awesome. How much is forecasted for us? I'm not sure. Did you? Eight inches? Okay, eight inches. Mostly what I'm worried about is it's coming down pretty and slowly and it's powder. But tomorrow the wind's supposed to kick up, which in Nebraska is not good. The wind is the worst part. The wind is the worst <laughs> right, part. Right now so it's beautiful out. Kate is on. Oh, good. Hello, Kate. Hiya. Here she is. So enjoy my time today. We had around 10 inches over the weekend. Wow. Oh my goodness, in Pennsylvania. I think that's what you said. I really don't need 10 inches of snow. That's mm -mm. going to stick around a while. And we're trying to go to Atlanta on Sunday. So oh my gosh, is that this week? It's this week, yeah. Are you ready to go to Atlanta, Kate? No, I guess I better pack. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> She's going to need to get organized. We have a lot to do before we can go you anywhere. Know, market always really sneaks up on me. It does. You're right. You are right. So today we're going to do a couple different looks. I've got Valentine's Day items to show you, and I've got uh, this new Oak Moss collection items to show you. I'm kind of crammed into a little area here at Jane's counter. Wow. Trying to not take up too much space. Patty just got 14 inches of snow. Oh my gosh. Hi Ruth, Susan, Judy. Hello. Kathy said, helping my son and daughter-in-law. We have a new baby girl. Fun. Oh, congrats. Congratulations. What's her name? Jan. I love Karen, hearing baby names. Hello. Well, sounds like everyone, yes, Ruth is getting some snow too. So yeah, we have a nice pretty snow. I don't know if we'll be here tomorrow. I would assume. I just said that when you walked away. Okay, yeah. yeah. If we get here, it will be late. Uh-huh. We're going to well, be late. Well, live sure. isn't until 5, so. Yeah, that's true. But if you call the store, right. I don't think we're going to open on time. I mean, there's literally no way. No. If the wind comes up. And yeah, I'll, absolutely. Uh, we always have to wait to get our snow removed, too, before we can get parked anywhere close to our building. Yes. Okay, so we got tags on our new artichokes. Yep, I'm putting stick. these new things online as we go. All right. And our artichokes are something I forgot to show you the other day, guys. These are $12.50. Aren't these the prettiest artichokes you've ever seen? They look so real. This is gonna be a really nice look for the oak moss for texture, interest, thinking of kitchen island concept. And I'm gonna set them up on this tray, which is $115, the tray with the wood beaded handle. Um, I have the large one. And I like this one because it is very rustic and it looks kind of like a picture frame with an all wood base here. So that one is not really a dark stain, it's sort of a gray wash. Let's call it that, a gray wash stain. There you That's go. Beautiful. We're also going to use these, uh, one of these, I think, 24 or 2650 for the Pussy Willow candle ring. So these are good for texture, and you know, they're kind of springy, but I picked it because this is the olivey kind of leaf color on here that is good with oak moss. 
not the bright, bright green. So that's why I grabbed this. Plus it'll add some texture to our tray. That's my theory, at least. And I was debating about putting a vase in this tray also. So I don't know. I have a started idea. I don't have a clear picture of what's going to happen in here. But I know this will create some interest. Even though it's a candle ring, we're just going to use it to add some texture to this tray. Okay. Fanning it out. There's a lot going on, and you can shape all the little parts and pieces if you want to. Just have to fight with it a bit. And then we have some different orbs that I can use today. This is the large fir root orb, like fir tree. There, this is the 2950 size, and it has an abstract root effect, depending which one you get. Some of them have more abstract stuff on them. Some of them are more solid. I only grabbed one. We've been carrying them for a while because they're great natural textured fillers. They have, um, they're just unusual. They have a lot of character. Character is good. We also have a vine ball. This is a great vine that keep it in my line. Oh boy, I hope this one's online. It's 1150, it maybe isn't. If you need a great vine ball, I only have a couple left. Um, and if it isn't online, it's the kind of thing that isn't hard to find. And then the artichokes are $12.50. They're going to tuck in. Still need some more objects. We're going to use this little guy, which is the tea leaf ball. This one's $15.50. Oh, somebody's having surgery. I missed two. I hope you do well. I hope you do well. You'll feel so much better, huh? That's the way that goes. Your flower family will be thinking of you. And the tea leaf ball is a little bit brighter green, but I'm going to do some different greens in here so it'll all work out well. I also want to kind of lay this stem set across here somewhere before I get too carried away. This is a fun little bundle for trays. This brand doesn't give me good titles. They call it the wheat bundle. Oh yes, I made fun of that the other day because it does not look like any kind of wheat I've ever seen. Probably have to just stick it there. And this sweet bundle isn't tagged with a price, but it has paper wrap stems and it's a creamy ivory color. You can pull it apart a little bit. You could completely disassemble it. But the other day when I showed it, I didn't do anything with it. I just showed you the items. So today we're going to use Wait, it. I called it the cream weedy wheat bundle. Okay, that's good because it is funny that they chose to call it wheat, but I just assume it's because the people naming this stuff maybe do not live in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. That could be. <laughs> One could assume that that is not the case. Oh, it's Renee. Okay, Renee. Thinking of you. Mm. Sorry, that coffee tastes so good today. Your what? My coffee tastes so good today. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Mossy Ball, this is the one we decided was four inches, and it does come with a hanger, which we will disregard. This item is only $8.50. There we go. See how nice the tray is filling up? Oh, yeah, very nice. I love it's that moss orb. I don't think the any of these are here. a nice touch. They're really coming back in. Well, they stand out nicely. And then this is fun. We still are doing glass beads. I have blue and white. Mm -hmm. Is there a third color? Just blue. There and was white. green. Is there green left? There might be green. I would Maybe like the one green, green. But. I just saw the blue and white, so I grabbed the white one. Those look good hanging over the edge. They are $34.50. They're heavy, solid, um, matte finished glass or frosted glass. So the blue ones are also frosted. You can see how big these things are. They're like the size of a quarter. There we go. It looks good with the little willow buds. So then the color combo is nice together. Okay. Here's the hanger. I guess I should turn it. So this tray could be considered done. We have room for like one more thing on the back That's side. That's so simple too. It's just a lot of fun, different textural things. And, and you really only have one of everything, right? I have um, two artichokes, but yes. Yeah. And then I was going to put one of these guys in. This one should be individually tagged, but it isn't. It's Probably the berry ball. Tag it. <laughs> it's a three and a half inch berry ball. There's room for that on the back over here. So that gives me a little bit more fullness. I better save all these tags. What is the wheat? I dropped a link. Uh, it mm -hmm. is the cream weedy wheat bundle. There it is. <laughs> Can you see it? And I'll Works drop good. a link to orbs as well. So that way if you need to shop 
Are all the orbs. orbs kind of together? Yep. Okay, well we could style this a lot of different ways. There are more things for trays than you can believe in this new collection. Lots of different orbs, lots of different textural viney things. You know how much I like viney things. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever heard the word bendy vine, well, that's what we call the viney things. Either my coffee is spilling or my mug is leaking. What? Interesting. Probably. Oh, it looks like it's leaking and it's mm -hmm. kind of dripping. I'll get you a different mug. <laughs> that's a new one. That's a little concerning. It's a ceramic mug, but maybe it's cracked. Okay, so styled tray number one. Let's keep going. Styled tray number two. We're going to use... Thanks. I'll let you switch it because it looks like it's just having issues. Uh, we're going to use this polonia wood tray here. You know, I love this tray. It's been in the line. We keep it in the line. $39.50. This one is... How big is this? Uh, it's six inches on the outside. Thank you. And 23 inches or 24 inches long. They are uh, hand carved. So keep that in mind when you get one. They do have a nice flat bottom. And it's just one of the best sizes ever. Love how easy this works up. So this piece we showed uh, the other day. It takes a lot of shaping to get it to look amazing. But this is the Maidenhair Fern Spray in green. Also a nice deep olive color. You can see how much product and then the stem is a wired stem that's going to give you all kinds of shaping options like this. Just work it slowly so you don't give it a straight straight on bend and then it might break the paper. It's kind of a paper wrap stem but it feels more rubbery, rubbery wrap stem. So the fun part of this is that it is all the filler you need in a tray of this size. One stem does it. I think it's like fourteen fifty, but I'm not supposed to guess. You're not supposed to guess. It's ten fifty. Ten fifty. Oh, even better yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad if I guess too high, right? No, no. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna shape one piece to go back. We're gonna let that curled up stem be part of the interest. You get Hi, the Shirley. idea. She's having a snow day too. Ooh, where are you? It is definitely snowy here. Super, super snowy. Pretty snow. The wind hasn't picked up yet, but it's coming down very thick. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. Even on my way here, I was slipping and sliding around in my Jeep. I was like, what on earth? Well, you called me and said, are you at work? And she was surprised that I was here. I was surprised. But you know, I like a snow day. There's nothing better than like you have a little ways to drive designing. Though. I know I don't I don't live in town here, so that's why I said my husband's gonna come and get me <laughs> because he's got a big truck and it'll work out fine. Okay, now that's what I would call properly shaped. I spent a little time on it. We were touching every little leaf. If it, if you leave it straight out of the box, it just looks stiff, right? So you have to give all the little leaves, all the little vines, some bends, and that softens it up and gives it a more natural look. So one vine for only $10.50, filling this entire bowl, and that bowl is $39.50. So then we can lay in some fun things. What would be cute in here? Let's try our nest. We haven't done anything with that yet. It is $5.50. I will have a lot of nests coming in, but this is the mossy one, so it's going with our oak moss collection. And it looks just fine, nestled in on the branch. Maybe we want to see a little... I'm not going to take the tags off these because I'm just designing a bowl. Of course, you know, if it was staying together, I would remove tags. This succulent is the Baby Tear succulent in purple and green. Oh, fun. Shirley's in Seward, so yep, you're probably... I think oh. we're getting eight inches here in Norfolk. So right south, now. like Omaha and Lincoln's supposed to be much more south. Is it? Brenda said mm -hmm. Texas is having rainstorms. Kathy's brother that. in Kansas is getting 6 to 10, and she wants to send it her way. Oh. Yeah, I think we've, we've had a few inches so far already, just oh, today. Oh, at least. Yeah. There's got to be three inches on the yeah. ground, I'd guess. Yeah, I think eight total, and it's supposed to snow all day, all night, and then the wind's supposed to get really bad. That's the worst. Yeah. But... Vicki, hi. Oh, I took mm. my husband to Sioux City to the Hard Rock Casino. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I did tell them where you, that you went on a surprise birthday weekend. Yes. Yep. We went and I took him to the Hard Rock and we lost 60 bucks and <laughs> <laughs> had a That's great dinner. That's not that much to lose. <laughs> no, but he is an accountant, so it was pretty painful for him. Even if it wasn't his money, it was painful <laughs> to see it go. <laughs> That's true. He would have He's a very problems. practical guy. <laughs> oh, oh Kathy of... said her order is out for delivery today. Yay. Yay. Hi, Mary. How are you? 
um, cattail grass bundle, cream and green. I wasn't going to use another stem, but I think I will just lay this haphazardly out the end. Just because. So I'm not cutting it. I'm not adjusting it. It comes just like this. The cattail bundle uh, with grass is the perfect sagey color. Will that be big enough for the Darlene tray? Let me look up the Darlene. I can't remember. I don't remember which, is the Darlene this one? Oh, it's the jumbo. The Darlene is the jumbo really, really big tray. One. So okay. you'll want to like double it. If you're trying to take this, what mom's doing right now, mm -hmm. and put it in the Darlene. The Darlene is twice as wide. So uh, you'll basically want to double what she's doing. Twice as wide. You know what you should use? I'll show you here in a minute what would be a good base for a bigger tray. Ah, there you go. Uh, um, Jan, super windy in Colorado. I think the wind's coming your way. I would bet oh. so. Which side of the mountains are you on, Jan? I can't remember. This is a sedum. I know I've shipped to you. Sedum pick <laughs> in mauve. So I like these tones together. I'm going to just lay it up close to the camera. Do you see the pretty color of mauve to purple? Ooh, I like it. I I'll like drop it. a link to all of our succulents because we have quite a few. We have we some like nice to restock ones. them. I'm just kind of putting twos in, but they're all clustering around the nest as a starting point. Nice. Hi, Kim. How are you? Uh, Hi, oh, she's on the east side of the mountain. So yeah, it'll... Okay. And it could use another little orb or something. So I'll just like rob this from the other bowl. It looks like it needs something <laughs> small right over here. Shani said, oh, we are in that snowmageddon tonight to and Snow tomorrow in eastern Iowa. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to get mer more than us maybe. Rain in Oklahoma, snowing tomorrow. Ooh, that's the worst. I hate when it rains then snows because it's extra icy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Grandma. I am not in my PJs, but I am in sweatpants. <laughs> She braided her out. hair and I did. I came couldn't in stand with it. wet hair. You look, you look. My good hair though. has to naturally dry. You look it's fine. It's curly. Okay. So this piece is kind of done-ish. There's done -ish. lots of ways you could change this up. We could put uh, flowers in here if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. If you leave it like this, it also blends beautifully with the artichoke. So the color of the artichoke just reaching over and robbing that. That artichoke is really fun. The artichoke looks so good with these succulents. Oh I love boy. the artichokes. I'm liking the artichoke too. So really, that is a pretty compliment. I like how it's sort of offset to the one end of the tray. And then the other end has this little bundle and the just the leaves, just kind of like heavier on one end, a little bit asymmetrical. That's kind of good too. So just playing with some of these new things. This is the Oak Moss Collection. I'm assuming Kate has dropped you a link to this whole collection. I sure will. And that way you can see um, the some of the things we did with the live walkthrough. Um, if you are able to, those two boxes underneath my backpack, mm -hmm. okay. I was going to show those two pots. I missed, I made sure they were on the collection, but I missed these two amazing planters. I'll show you today for DIYers. I had missed the artichokes and we don't have the succulents with oak moss, but really all of the succulents would look great with them too. So, so you got a scissors? That is one thing. So when I was researching my collections and Kate had helped me, um, we missed these two different really awesome pots. And I think they're open in the back room, but they are not in my display. So on Saturday, I put these boxes out, but then I had to run out of here. So Kate will have to tell you how much they are, but look at how funky this is. This is a plastic, container with faux moss on it. It's faux mossed. So the theme, oak moss, as you can imagine, we're gathering and more yet to come. Moss bunnies, moss nests, all kinds of different moss structured items because it's a hot theme when we were shopping. It is. It's it everywhere. Was a strong theme. Ah, uh, Lynette escaped the snow. She's in Florida. Oh, <laughs> oh you know As what? opposed to South Dakota. <laughs> Jane's got to get to the airport tonight. So yeah. She's got to go down to Omaha, which for us is a two hour drive. No, no, she left today. Did she, she went down drive? last night. No, no, I'm pretty sure her Tuesday. flight. I thought her flight was today. She was going to work today, but oh. because of the snow, I'm assuming Jane's not going to work. She's not here. Okay, <laughs> so, got it. Yeah. Hi, Sharon. How are you? These pots are interesting. So I thought I'd show you close up because they look like metal underneath, but they are plastic. Donna, the everything we have is silk or faux, so the artichokes are not real. They look good though, don't they? They look Donna? really good though. Glad you found us. These are the best silk florals in the industry as far as realism. We have lots of goodies. 
So these two pots, this looks like a six inch, and yep. this one looks six like inch a, and a four, four inch. inch. So $10 and, and $8. Obviously, I just opened the box. I've made nothing with them, and they're so cool. But for you gals who like to design, I just thought I'd better tell you about them since Turn they got just one. got here. Yep, okay. so two sizes, kind of fun. Good, good. Now I'm going to hand these to Kate so I can get a little more space. We're going to talk about a little bit of Valentine's Day and then make a vase drop-in. Also, I like drop-ins. Thank you. Uh, Valentine's Day items, here we go, are hot off the press. Jane did make this one on Saturday. Oh, thanks, Deb. She said, y'all have, well, she didn't say y'all, but I said y'all, have <laughs> the very best quality items. Thank you. We specialize Yay. in the high quality stuff. That's our thing. So if you put this one in, I'm assuming you know how much it is since it does not have a thing. Okay. Un momento, por favor. So what we are trying to do is make some pretty little pieces. <laughs> Always in a rush. It's the Valentine's <laughs> Vibes drop-in for $59. There you go. It's a little short guy. It's just the right size for this vase that is the wrapped vase. What is this one called? The Florence Glass Weave Lantern. I have this at my house. It's only twenty the Florence. Twenty-six fifty. You know the rattan weave is still a thing. We're doing lots of that. It'll be blended in into one of my other collections, but we have designed this one. Jane made this on Saturday. There is only one. And you're gonna No, there's two. There's two? Yep, I have one oh, right here. Oh good. I'm glad to know there's two. That's mm -hmm. great. It's always bad if there's only one. Yes. Yeah. Hi Estelle, she said she's working on her winter displays. Thanks for all the great inspiration. She's waiting for Yay. delivery. Okay. Now, if you purchase this little piece, it is not necessarily a Valentine's piece. It's mauve, it's burgundy, mm -hmm. it's not red and white, but it's mauve, burgundy, and cream. But Jane's suggestion was that she made this little bow as an option to wire to the handle or just plunk in there as a little add-on to make it more Valentine. You could put a Valentine's pick in it. I do not have any to suggest for you, but you could. But otherwise, just do such a thing like this. And the bow is sold separately. Then you remove it. Maybe this is a color that matches a guest bedroom or it looks cute on the bathroom vanity. It's a nice small size. Uh, this little bow itself is for sale. Are the bows both the same price? They are. They're both only seven fifty. So the one you're holding, Perfect. I called Love Potion. Oh, good. It's the <laughs> Love Potion bow, and the red one is called the Sweetheart. Okay. One sheer, one solid. This, they both have a little bit of extra ribbon in the center to make them unique. This one has a red velvet. This one has a little chevron um, cotton print. And if you want to add it to here, it does have a nice little extra effect for you. It will be removable, and that way you can design this piece, style this piece in a room for a non-seasonal look also. Oh, fun. Kathy's like, I already got one. Yay. Hi, okay. Chanel. So, so I just put the bows on, the sweetheart bow and the love potion bow. They're just little. They are measured up online. Mm -hmm. um, they're probably they're about, about six eight inches. inches in yeah, five and six inches and, longer. and eight inches long. Just a small thin wire. Depends on, on how there. you shape it. So you can wire it to something. And then if you want to buy a ribbon, just in case you didn't notice, we have the $20 bolt of 10 yards of red cotton with a wired edge. We have the one that she designed with here which is $15 for 10 yards. It says love with glitter hearts and it's buffalo plaid, of course, but the glitter hearts are kind of nice. I like that. And then we also have the sheer that she made that bow out of. This sheer is with dotted little dots and hearts. Okay. And it is also a $15 bolt of ribbon for 10 yards. So it's inexpensive. And then I've been using the gingham as well. I pulled the gingham out in pink. This is $10 for 10 yards and it is wired. So I like some tiny ribbon. This is a cute one. I did design that in the wreath I made you guys the other oh, day. Oh, well, both drop-ins just sold out. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, but there's more. I can show you that something else. That is so else. funny when that happens. We don't have any more right now. But With the snow day tomorrow. This. Okay. I don't know how the order's situation will be so, with Jane gone and Snow Day, but we'll see. <laughs> That's right. This has a whole bunch going on. She added a lot of embellishments to it. Here's the piece plain. The piece plain okay. is also for sale. It is the rose bouquet in burgundy mauve. So she took the base design and added a lot of goodies to it. That is available also. It isn't as full, but maybe you're going to DIY it up yourself. So here it is in the Florence base again. 
If I fan it out, there's room for some extra greens and leaves. That's what she did. But if you have a smaller container that you can put it in, then do that. Needs to be about mm, four inch opening would be good. This almost fits. This little pot is from the Oak Moss collection. And if you can get those, I think you should cut the stems off if you're going to put them in there. Anyway, that's an inexpensive little bundle. I forgot how much it was. I looked it up. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Rose Do you bouquet. know the name of it? Do you want me to hand you it? Uh, here, one second. Okay. So that one is available, and you could do a I lot bet of I different can find things. It. Here it is. It's 25. 25? Okay. That is. So if you missed out on the drop in already and you want the bouquet, <laughs> there's that. There All you right. go. We also have a couple more Valentine's things. If you have that centerpiece in, I show I'll It show is that. in. Yep. And and a wreath. Oh, here it is. It's called the Simply things. Sweet Centerpiece. Okay, so we're going to show so this and this. These are just some things if you haven't noticed them or if you want to see them up close. I didn't show this the other day. I missed it. So that is ready to go. This is a one only. It's $93 for the 20-inch Sweetheart of a Wreath. Now this one's made on a mossy vine. I should have more of these vines What is it called, the Sweetheart in. Wreath? Sweetheart of a Wreath. Oh, Sweetheart of a okay. Wreath for 93 Got And it. it is 20 inches across, light and airy. It also is very thin, so if you need to hang a wreath between two doors, this one would probably fit for you. Red velvet hydrangeas, velvet ribbon in there. Cuteness. Are we able to make that drop in, or are we telling people just to get the bouquet? Um, that sold already. Can I make more of that drop in? Yeah. I probably could make two more. But we're not sure. We could check after we hop off. Okay. Um, I, I know I missed a question about what to put in the Florence vase from Oak Moss. I would think just a nice fern. Oh. I, I do could... you have Oak Moss drop-ins yet? No. Okay. I've made nothing for Oak Moss yet. Okay. Um, if I could get snowed in here all day and not have to paint and patch holes in a wall, then I would You're going to sleep here, snow. aren't you? I would sleep here, but somebody would probably get mad at me. Yeah. I'm going to just go make my guest room up just in case. <laughs> I can stay at Kate's house yeah. if I can't get home. Good point. I can do that. That's my backup plan. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we have something that will look cute. Let me look around and see what I've got. Uh, this is one we have ready to go with three as a quantity. Cute little Valentine's Day design. So this is made in the Josie planter, which is a terracotta matte white planter. It's about six inches across. I'm getting the glue off. And the little heart loops always add a lot. This will be... These are all attached, I think. Yeah. They are glued in. Yeah. Sometimes I say let's make it removable, but these are all glued in. I think it looks and great. And it's got that cute little glittery heart. So it's eighty nine fifty, the Simply Sweet centerpiece. I have three and only three. And then they are mm -hmm. gone. I can't make more because we don't have the bases there. 14 inches by 12. Yeah, so I did 13 by 12. It's a nice centerpiece style. If you want to style your dining table, that's the size. Hi, Sharon. Put it on an island. Tammy got some succulents. Nice. Well, good. Everybody's finding their goodies. That's what you needed. Kathy Dippold wants a drop-in if we're able to make one later. A drop-in? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, see I know we you get. guys are anxious for more new things. I've been trying, but oh, yeah. the amount of other stuff, like end-of-year taxes, that's keeping me from designing yeah. <laughs> those kinds of things. <laughs> kind of important things. <laughs> to do some of those things. So uh, this is the lowest wood tray. I'm going to design a drop-in after I show you this cute little concept that Jane designed. The Romeo. The Romeo swag. Ooh, that's a good name. 4250. So this little guy has a lot of versatility. It's quite straight here. But I grabbed E for everyone <laughs> because or whatever your name is. E for effort. <laughs> we have E for effort and E for everyone. Of course we have these in black and in white. So if you want to use this as a, oh yeah, I forgot to grab the other little swag. Are they sold out? The ones that Jane made with the black and white look. This is very shapeable. So do you see how I did that right there? You can curve it, drop it down. And the Romeo swag is going to look really nice on the top. Ooh, I really like it on the top. That looks nice. This is the white wood letter sign, $49.50. We have most letters. And then we also have the Roman black letter sign. Thank you. It's the sweetest day mini. Okay. So here's how it looks on the top of a letter. Depending on your letter, sometimes it looks better on the bottom. 
bottom. Whoops, the tails would need to move. But you could also hang it to the bottom, basically just wire it on or tie it on with some curling ribbon, something to make it stay. But that's a cute little Valentine's accent. And then we do these all year round, especially great for wedding gifts. And then the choice the other day that I did show you, that we still have some, the Sweetheart Day, or the Sweetest Day, this one's $39. Oh, it's not photographed yet. I was it like, how come I'm not finding it? Yeah. I'll hmm. go grab one and photograph it. I could have swore I did that myself the other day. Probably, I probably messed that up. So there is how the little one looks. One striping long, one is just tiny and short. Yeah, I meant to make sure that was online, so I must have messed that up. The uh, little piece here, this is the one I showed you the other day, I think it was Saturday, in our lantern. So you could take this little baby guy here and tuck it in the small lantern with the heart design and make a little centerpiece that's changeable for the seasons. That's a very good idea. I like it. I wonder if you'd add two bows and put one on the top and one inside and then you'd have a double bow situation. That would work as well. So this is that lantern from Saturday. Just a recap of something that works great. The open dome wood lantern 6250. I think that Valentine's Day is such a short holiday that whatever you do it's good to grab things that you can um, make versatile. So using an everyday piece like this and then dropping the little floral in will help ensure that that lantern goes on and on through the rest of the seasons. The heart that's hooked right over the top here has been going quickly. Everybody's loving this carved wood heart. It's pretty good sized and it is just hanging. Oh, 1450. That's why the whitewash wooden heart just hangs like this. And somehow on this lantern, it even hangs at the right height <laughs> without any effort at all. How much are the letters? Um, the letters are $49.50. And I think the other one is, um, well, all kinds of backwards here. The other one's maybe 53. The black Roman letter is a little bit more. I would say you might want to get the Roman letter and I'll show it. Okay, so Kate's got that swag ready to go. The swag that we showed you here also can be a tray piece which is what I was planning to do lay it in here so we're going to straighten it back out again all these products are wired so you can move them around nothing's going to break and then in this case you'd want to lift it up a little bit so it doesn't look too flat oh somebody tied the tag over top of that end so just some fun little tips today. If you're tuning in and you're new to our Facebook Lives, we do this six days a week. Hopefully tomorrow night at 5, and then we'll be back Wednesday at noon again. We're always sharing tips and tricks, design ideas, new products, seasonal things, our fun collections. There's lots to see. Okay, so, I think I got all the links dropped. You're caught up? The Sweetest Day Mini Swag is now online, and it was $39. That's Cute this swag one. for any of the letter signs. The okay. Romeo swag that Mom's holding is Here. especially great for the black Roman letter signs because it's longer, a little bit bigger, and the black mm -hmm. letter signs in the Roman style are larger. So that's always nice. So we can... Um, drop the link for those but this little puppy heart that we're going to try here is $24.50. Do you remember these from last year you guys? Did the anybody get hearts? them last year? We had them for 10 minutes last yeah, year. Yeah literally so I got more colors deeper quantities of the velvet hearts and they're handmade. They're cute. Did you have the little sign about her story? Uh no. Mm -mm. It is it's not displayed. It is not displayed. Okay so that makes a whole new tray too. Just some fun ideas to keep things switching up for you. I'm just going to pull that up. It's a really um, sweet gal, Michelle, mm -hmm. and she has been doing it for 33 years. She loves fabrics and handmade decor, and she's been featured in Real Simple, L Decor, Apartment oh. Therapy, Good Morning America, all kinds of stuff, which is really neat. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a much longer centerpiece if you put it in here. You can drop the link for the... They're made in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Okay. Wisconsin. Uh, the open dome wood lantern is what this is. So okay. here's the long piece running through there, which makes a more elongated centerpiece. If your table is oblong, maybe that looks more proportionate. So choices, lots of cute things. I know we should make a lot more Valentine's Day and a lot more everything. We'll just How much is the wooden heart? Let me find that one. The wooden heart's 1450 
um, the whitewash wooden heart. It's the only one of its type. I mean, we have multiples, but I don't have other sizes or shapes, just this one. Whitewash and it's working it. really well. Okay. Also, I'm dropping a link to it. If you haven't shopped with us before, hi, we're Magnolias in downtown Norfolk, Nebraska. We ship all <laughs> over the U.S. and into Canada six days a week, but not so much today because of the snow. Ooh, I should message the UPS driver, huh? I'll be here. Oh, you will be. Uh, so then in. we'll be fine. Um, if we he wants ship to text me. Yeah, I'm not sure who our driver is right now. Oh, is it our normal driver? <laughs> I don't know. You maybe should ask Jen who's coming. Any hoots and hollers. So we specialize. Yeah, we specialize in high quality silk florals and silk floral design. We make all of our floral designs in house. Mom and Jane make them all. Jane is on vacation I'm though. Having coffee Mom issues. is having a meltdown. <laughs> I don't think it was your cup. I think it was just you actually. Now that we're. <laughs> <laughs> your the truth comes leaking. out that I can't, can't drink coffee <laughs> neatly. So, okay. if you haven't shopped with us before, I'm sure everyone in the comments will attest to our high-quality <laughs> products, our care and passion, and our beautiful packaging. I like to think of packaging. Beautiful packaging. Very snazzy. It is fun. Yes. So, okay. if you haven't checked us out before, check us out now and be sure to like and follow us and do all the things. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, we used to be on house. Is house a thing anymore? We're People not on house, house now. We're not on house. Uh, <laughs> this is the bamboo said, I think there's spray. a hole in her chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's problems. It's just me. Oh, what do you do? It's a Monday. It is. That's my excuse. Okay, I'm going to use it. Bamboo leaf spray, 750. Bamboo leaf is nice and airy. This pitcher, I forget. Is this the Josie pitcher? Yes, yeah. the Josie picture. It's Apparently only I was on a roll with the name the Josie. Josie. The two things today. Our Josie should be flattered. <laughs> we have a 4850 super, this is the heaviest picture in the store. This thing is terracotta and Why it is glazed it? and it's very rustic. So you can get the idea here. I would say it's white, but it's a very grayed out white. Definitely rustic. We're going to use a little bit of white floral though. Look at this thing. Isn't this different? I love it. The Rose Myrtle Spray in white is a tall stem at 36 inches tall. No, it isn't. It's 30 inches tall. Rose Myrtle inches. Spray for $14.50. I'm going to try to just use two. If I need three, I'll have to hand me one. So we're going to put two of those in at the moment. I'm going to chop them down a couple of inches. I will get a price for this drop in and then take orders for it. It is not in the system, obviously. I'm just going to make it now. There you go. But if you need one, um, I can make a whole bunch because all this is new stuff, new, new, new. And don't we love new stuff? Always like new stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a few reoccurring favorites that we got back in that we just loved last year. So we had to get it like my favorite pothos are ferns, but there's a lot of cool new things. Pretty fun. We have a lot of stems. How many stems do you think we have? Thousands. Yeah, I mean, definitely <laughs> thousands. I don't even know. Okay, we're going to use one of these. This is, um, hmm, I hate when they don't to title this thing. Do you want the tag? Yeah, I don't think this I This company is not really great at titles on tags. We'll this is going to require some, do you see how you just kind of give some shape to these stems and take away the straightness? Euphorbia? Variegated euphorbia. Okay. It just came to me. Euphorbia. So this is going to just fill it out. If I drop it down low enough, it'll hit the right spot. In this bucket right here? Mm-hmm. The euphorbia and, is 1550. Ugh. It is a, it's tight. how tall is it? 39 inch stem. Okay. Also very sturdy stem. Got it. And this will drop straight down the middle. So with the four parts to the stem, it should look plenty full. Ooh, look how nice that feels. Oh, in. that looks great. I love variegated stuff. When we go to market, mom always makes fun of me because everything I pick out <laughs> is variegated. <laughs> you can only have so much variegated. You have to have a little bit Some of other solids. Things. Yes, I know, but the variegated is just, ugh, love it. It's beautiful. Okay. I feel like it could use one more thing. So what I'm going to do is deconstruct from the pile of goodies behind goodies. her. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to use this fern. I like this color. This is the leather fern. It's natural touch. We have the two natural touch ferns that we've been talking about. The maiden hair that looks like this, and this is flat out of the package. The not The leather shaped. fern bush is twelve fifty. This one has been being disassembled, so they both have the same construction. And for you DIYers, this is one of my favorite constructions because you can take your pliers and pull a stem 
right out of the plastic housing and then you have an extra long wire. So pro tip, that's what you do when you're dis if you're going to disassemble a fern is pull it apart, don't cut it off, then you get long pieces. In this particular structure type, this is how this works. Not all styles, but this one does. So I think if I add this and use my taped wires to catch everything, even though the stems are short, it will be no problem. So I'm going to put three chunks of this fern, which probably was a six or seven chunk fern, but I used some up in a centerpiece that I made. So Ruth is wondering, does the maiden hair work in the Florence? Yes. Oh, we should try it. Mm -hmm. Might be just right, but I, think I can. It's the perfect size. I can check it actually. out. It'll be very full. Mm -hmm. You know, we like to do designs, but sometimes it's nice to have something simple. The hardest thing is that the Florence is a clear vase, so I would actually mm -hmm. get a cutting of bendy vine to wrap inside the vase to kind of hide the stem itself. Yeah, I don't want to use that. Kathy okay. said it's looking fresh and wonderful. Fresh is the right keyword. You got it. So we're going to do this and wire these little guys in here. I think if we get the wire on nice and tight, we will have caught all those ends of the shorter fern. Double wrap that. What are we gonna times. call this one? Oh yeah, I have no title. Something fresh or real touch or... Mm -hmm. <sighs> How much is Looks a bush nice. of, of the leather fern? The maiden fern. hair or the leather hair? The leather, the leather fern. The leather fern was twelve fifty. The maiden hair is twenty nine. Okay. Different sizes entirely. All right. Love Let's using ferns, Kathy said. That. Thank you. Oh, uh, I gotta add. Well, a couple wait. Bucks we're taking for... orders for it, so I don't want to put it online. We have to total it. We have to total it. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Add a couple bucks. I gotta put some bendy vine on it. You got it. Um, we need to wrap it with some bendy vine. So, as you know. We sell viney things, brown ones, green ones. I'm just using a piece or two, two pieces off of my chunk that I've got cut on the behind me hanging here. And I got my wire. It looks like it's successfully catching all the loose ends. And it will now look tidier and neat if I do a nice little stem wrap here with some extra vines. This one is $89.50. Uh... Technically, it's outdoor safe. Mm hmm It could be. It's in which collection? Uh, hmm. Not really. Good question. I mean, technically, it could go in oak moss. Lemoncello? It would go in lemoncello. We have multiple collections, but I we cannot only... wait for the lemoncello collection. They don't even know yet. It's going to be even nice. know how good it's going to be. I'm so excited. There's a lot of new things that have the to get organized. Bendy vine. What is the name of that bendy so vine? So this look it is up. the big chunk of bendy vine. That's like twenty-two fifty for multiple stems. Ah, uh, the gray willow bendy vine. Oh, the photo is yeah, horrendous. Why do true. I keep forgetting to do that? That's the, it's actually green and brown. Did they call it? And gray? they call it gray willow. Oh. And I don't know why. Okay, fix that. Green and brown. So basically, when you use it to wrap things, you can let some of the pieces hang so out. So we're going to call it the very fresh drop in. Very fresh drop in. And it looks like this flower deliberately wants to drape. This is a draping flower. So we're letting that happen, just so you know. I didn't shape it. it wants to droop and that looks good. Fresh for spring. Lots of fun names. Fresh air. Oh, love that one. Wispy white. Great. We're going to need some more Okay. Names. I am going to go get one of those stinking bendy vines and photograph it right now. Okay. But I don't know where they are. They've got to be in the back room under the counter. We're still organizing. So $89. This is about 20. I'm going to go conservative at 27 inches tall. 27 inches tall. That is going to fit. Let me measure this vase so that if you have a vase at home, it is currently standing in a vase that's 12 inches tall. And if you cut it off, I mean, there's no harm done. If you have a short squatty vase and you just want to cut this or bend these stems up, you could do that. It could even go in a wall pocket. We have a beautiful willow wall basket. Um, that probably looks great in there too. I don't have one of those behind me, but that's another design option. And then the width of the flower bundle, kind of, again, conservatively, we're going to go 17 inches wide and you get the idea. It's just meant to fall into something 
and look drapey and pretty. The opening on this face, if it matters as well, is two, nearly three inches. So if that's similar to something you have at home, this is going to fit perfectly. All you have to do is send us a message. It is $89. We can send you an emailed link to pay for it in a cart. The very fresh drop-in is $89.50. So you could just request it as the very fresh drop-in and send us a Facebook message. We'll make sure you get one. I can make a whole bunch. Maybe I should take the supplies home and make them at home because that's what's going to happen. I'm not going to get here in the morning to be designing stuff, so be patient with us. But that is a really cute, simple little design there. Um, you were asking about the fern bush in the Florence vase. So if these two ferns, the, both the leather that I just cut apart and this one, the maiden hair, to shape them, you're going to want to kind of work each little stem into a curve. I mean, if you just go to bend it, it still stays straight. It fans open, but the key is working down the fronds to create a curved effect. I'm not going to shape the entire thing, but if you get what I'm saying, they have to have a little extra love to look like a natural fern wants to look. Then I'd probably try to wrestle the handle through it. And so drop it in that there. is the maiden hair fern bush, which is large. It's twenty nine dollars for that one, and it's UV Pretty. protected. Also, looks good in there. We're going to be out of Florence faces. If you don't have one, I think I had three, mm -hmm. which at inventory time surprised me because I unless there's some in the basement. Not sure. Uh, so okay. if you want the drop in, Mom did. Please send a Facebook message. Comments get buried. We will not see comments. That, that is, is always a problem. It was speaking a lot of comments, too. which is great. We, d we can't keep up with the daily lives and all the comments. So. Yeah. Messages get seen. Um, this one would, look, would benefit from putting some little moss or some river stones in the bottom would be pretty. That would add some interest to the bottom of the vase, but it isn't bad empty. Just a thought if you want to do something there. Um, can that be used in the fresh design drop-in? This fern instead of the leather fern? It could if you have a preference. The leather fern is basically the same size. I just like the structure of it for this look. Okay, I got it the Bendy Vine photographed. Finally, that's been on my list for like, what, four months? So <laughs> check, check. Check, check, okay. That is now updated. So have these... I forgotten anything? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's already 12.50. I can't I had, believe Oh, that wreath over there. I was gonna say, I know there's something else. This one, it is so, online, but it is the last one. Okay, a couple of versatile ideas. This is the Misty Greens wreath for 98, which weighs up this way. So if you like the idea of making things convertible, you can take a- I like convertibles. You like convertibles? Oh, I have a convertible. <laughs> I like them too. You can take a couple, I think I'd use two, of these little puffy hearts. The velvet heart, velvet heart, puffy velvet hearts, and actually, there's a bendy vine right on this wreath, and you can wire them in place. So there's a thought. And if you do so, buy hey, a Ani. removable bow. Where did my removable bow go? You need another one. You want Here the black or red? I you got, got it. it. Yep. And add a bow up there at the top of the heart, and then do a little heart cluster. So bam. I would do three hearts personally. Three. Mm -hmm. The wreath is big enough for two or three. Take your pick. It would also look cute with the wood heart. Just, I just like the color. Yeah, it's cute. So that is a fun idea. The bows, again, are only $7.50. We have this color, and we have the black and white. And this wreath would be one of those convertible wreaths that we need to make a whole bunch of because basic green will be what everyone needs right now. Just some fresh green in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, you know, it's on my list well, of stuff to do. Well, it's just dumping snow here right now. <laughs> it is. It's such a pretty snow. We, yeah, we're out of But we have uh, gotten maybe three inches so far, and we're going to get a lot get a more. Lot. So we probably won't be here tomorrow. We'll see how the day goes. You know, it's all Hard doom and gloom until it's done. If it's windy, though, that's when it's yeah. real tricky. We'll wake the up wreath, and let you know. How much was the wreath? The wreath is 89. 98. I'm 98. And it's the last one. 98, 90, yeah. <laughs> you gotta double check. I'm questioning my eyeballs. 98, it's the only one. When it's gone, and it's gone. And the diameter is 25 inches. So there you go. There you have it. Okay. Oh, yeah, good idea. Kathy'd like a swag like the wreath. So good if idea. this is a, a thought, there's more of this kind of thing coming. We haven't had any 
time to catch up. It seems like we did inventory and we rolled right into the week and now we have a snow day. And also Jane's going on vacation. We know she's gonna love her vacation because she's going to tropical climates and she's leaving the snow. So as long as her flight goes out tonight, <laughs> she'll be on her way. Uh, and I'll be here with you all week doing some more fun lives. Maybe I'll just be designing with you this week too. Okay, everybody, we are going to wrap it up and call it a day. If we are unable to do the live tomorrow night, you will see a post on our Facebook and Instagram pages. But I would think by tomorrow the snow might stop blowing and I can get here if I can. I will see you live at 5 o'clock tomorrow night. All right, everyone, have a great day. Stay warm.